Hi guys, how are you doing? So we're looking at does he miss me? So it's a pick a card. It's also it can be does she miss me? But because of the way it goes on here, I chosen to say does he miss me? But of course it can be her either. So I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to anyone new to the channel. Welcome back to anyone returning. Don't forget to hit subscribe and um, the bell so that you can be notified of every upload. Um, I generally upload twice a week, Monday and a Friday at 9am UK time. Okay, so let's get on with today's reading. If you would like a private reading with me, check the description box below and there's a link there to do that. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it. I hope you're all doing great today. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Sorry about that. Let's have a look. Does he miss me? Hi group one, so does he miss me? Let's have a good old look. So we've got a couple of oracle cards for clarification. We've got the five of swords, justice, queen of wands, strength. Um, we've also got for clarification, let go and flow and within the next few months. So... <sighs> This person, sorry, you can't see the bottom of this card. Um, is there anything I can do about that? Yes, I can swap these over. There you go. That's better. Okay, so, right, what it looks like, this person, do they miss you? They're trying to do the right thing. This person looks like they have good self-control. Um, I mean, you're showing up as the queen of wands, so this is someone light, bright, um, this is someone who is really kind of radiant and um, someone that they find very attractive, very uh, sexy. They feel very drawn to. You probably have a huge amount of chemistry with this person, a lot of connection. You may feel it on a very deep level. Um, but this person is trying to walk away. And I suspect from the situation, it doesn't mean that they're going to be successful and it doesn't mean that they want to either. Um, it's very likely in this situation, there could be a legal reason why they have to walk away. Um, so something like, you know, a, a current relationship, a marriage, a family. The justice card is about someone trying to do the right thing. So they, the way they see you is amazing. They see you as light, love, joy. They see you as... Uh, attractive they feel drawn to you everything feels amazing in terms of how they feel about you there are no issues there whatsoever but they i see them walking away five of swords and they don't feel like it may well be that they're trying to walk away from another situation but in terms of do they miss you they're trying to walk away from that feeling they're letting go and flowing they're trying to let go and let god really um it's, what they're saying within the next few months is it's all to it's all to see the next few months will be key so it's very likely this person has walked away or you've walked away from them recently and they're trying to get on with their lives and let go they're trying to just um you know leave the past behind really um maybe because they have to justice isn't about doing what they want it's about doing what they have to do the right thing they're thinking about the best case scenario, the best situation for everyone and trying to do the right thing, trying to keep balance. But they see you as this, you know, powerful, attractive, interesting person who they just feel so drawn to. You know, there's this light around you. The, the issue isn't how they see you. Do they miss you? They're not letting themselves miss you. They feel very attracted to you, but they seem to have good self-control. And I think the threat of whatever this issue is, there's some problem. Uh, feeling connected to you and going towards you at this time is not getting them where they want to be. They have to do the right thing. They have to walk away from the fight. They can't fight right now. They have to do, they have to comply or do what there is expected of them at this time. That's what they feel like. It doesn't mean it's true. It's just, do they miss you? That they're, they're they're walking away from a situation that they can't make, they can't win. So they're walking away, they're letting go. They're trying to go with the flow. They're trying to do the right thing. And they're trying to control their feelings, control their situation, not allow things to um, get the best of them. They're being brave. So do they miss you? No, not really, but not because they don't care, but because they've been really strong, really brave, 
Um, and really, can they keep this up? Well, the next few months is going to be all, to, you know, is that's going to be the tell um, tell all situation because I suspect for some of them that they as they've set out on this journey in the last month or so, feeling like, you know, I can do this, I can step away from this situation. Um, I still find her attractive. I still want to move towards it, but I know I can't. So I'm I'm moving away from this. I'm letting go. I'm letting God. I'm being brave. I'm being strong. I'm controlling my emotions. Some of them are going to achieve it. Some of them aren't. So in terms of deciding with your person whether you think they'll be able to keep it up or not, um, this is about listening to your own intuition and also using your common sense, using your eyes <laughs> and your knowledge of that person, you know, because... Uh, it's very important to remember in spiritual situations, you know, when you are listening to tarot readings and things that, yes, the spiritual aspect, the intuition is a factor, but also, you know, the universe gave you common sense for a reason. So open your eyes and look as well. Do you think it's likely this person will be able to keep it up? You will, you, you have a good understanding of this person. You have a good understanding of human nature. Is this person likely to be able to keep it up? A few of them are not going to be able to. To be honest, though, I get the feeling that with the majority of people in this group, this person will be able to keep it up. They feel they've made a decision, they've done the right thing, and so yet yeah, they still see you as amazing, but they know they've done the right thing and they are, you know, trying to stick to that. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two. Okay, so we've got a couple of clarifiers here. Um, so does he miss me or does she miss me? So we've got the king of cups, the two of swords, the empress, the two of coin, coins. <laughs> coins. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say then. It didn't sound like coins. Okay, um, clarifiers, helpful people. And step away from the crowd. So does this person miss you? This is likely them, and this is likely to be you. You have a very, um, what looks to me, King of Cups and the Empress, you have a very strong, emotional, deep emotional connection. Um, this person, you've got a double two here, and both of these, I mean, the twos are all about choices and making decisions. Um, but these, the two of coins and the two of swords are very much about feeling in two minds and feeling unsure and going between two ideas, two things, two situations. So what I would say is this person isn't sure. This person isn't sure whether they miss you or not. Um, the helpful people card says for me in this situation, it might sound a bit random, um, but intuitively this deck, T tends to put intuitively sorry the guys tend to give me a helpful person card when they mean this person is good for you as in this situation is here for a reason it's here to teach you something so you guys are very likely to have a soul connection because there's a deep spiritual connection here as well with the king of cups and the empress it feels very soul energy so this person is you have a deep connection. This person feels a deep connection to you. They're very intrigued by you. They see you as this powerful, divinely connected person. They admire you. They look up to you. But I think this could work both ways. I think you admire them and look up to them as well. You feel like they are guiding you, whether it's through positive or negative situations, you feel like they're guiding you on your path towards greater things like a, like you would expect in a soul connection i think they feel the same with you too but they're in two minds the two of swords indicates some sort of like angst as well agony issue over it so they their two minds is causing them stress um the two of coins it could indicate that there's another person involved they're trying to juggle you and someone else or the idea of you and someone else or it just could be that this whole situation with you is just overwhelming it requires them the situation with you requires them to have a different way of looking at the situation 
So to miss you means they have to step away from the crowd. So to acknowledge that they miss you means that they have to do something differently. They have to see a situation differently. They have to approach relationships differently. You know, to allow themselves to see you in that way and to miss you in that way means that they'd have to change how they are at the moment. And that for them is probably a bit scary and overwhelming. But this connection is a high level connection is what it feels like to me. Um, so it's kind of not a straightforward yes or no, but hopefully um, the type of person who's chosen group two, unless this is a missed pick, you won't need a definite yes or no because you'll be vibrating at a higher level. You're a little more, you know, you're quite an evolved group, group two, or very evolved group. So you know this already, you kind of know that you have this deep connection. So it's not like yes or no, it's not a superficial missing. It's more that there's this strong connection. They still feel the connection to you, but they're in two minds as to what to do about it. It's going to take them a lot to kind of acknowledge this because if they acknowledge it, they'll have to do something about it. That's the key. Okay, loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or a private reading in the meantime. Have a wonderful day. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So we've got a couple of clarifiers here. So does he miss me or does she miss me? Four of Swords, Knight of Coins, Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords. And we've got clarifiers. A year from now. Oh, what everyone likes to see. <laughs> and clean up your mess. Okay. You can't actually see that a year from now, can you? Um, that's... Let's move this all across. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to touch the screen so it focuses. Right, okay, so does he or she miss me? Four of swords, knight of coins, eight of wands, nine of swords, a year from now, clean up your mess. I mean, this speaks for itself, really, doesn't it? A year from now and clean up your mess. This person has got things in their life they need to sort. A year from now does indicate to me that it doesn't necessarily mean a year. Remember, this is a general reading. What it's saying is this is more of a long-term, a slow burn situation. There's a connection here. There's a connection here, but this person needs to go through some sort of evolution. This person's got a messy either relationship with someone else or with themselves or with life in general. They've got stuff they need to sort out first. But in a year from now, the situation will be completely different. You know, the in, it's implied here that a year from now, you'll either be together or the, there'll be a um, an acknowledgement of the way they feel about you. But at the minute, they're too busy sorting out their own life. They're too busy sorting out what's going on for them already in their life. The Four of Swords and the Knight of Coins together, this kind of reeks of a kind of learning energy. This person is trying to recover, trying to reconnect with themselves, trying to recalibrate, trying to understand where they're at, trying to learn. They're partway there. They're partway there, but they, they, they've got a lot of healing and learning to do. Okay? What I would say is, though, that in the near future something will wake them up. You'll get some sort of communication from them or some sort of movement forwards from them that could really bring shed some light on the situation. Um, if you're in a distance relationship, you could find that you end up, you know, meeting up somehow and then this kind of helps to move things along. But this person's got a lot of healing and learning and what have you to do. Um, a lot of mess to clear up. So it might feel like it's a mistake that the situation is as it is. But what it looks like to me is that they don't, it's not that they don't miss you now. It's just that they are too stressed out. A year from now suggests that they will miss you in the future, as in the feelings are there, but they're too busy trying to deal with what's going on in their own lives to even think about it. Nine of Swords is telling me that they've got either like some serious stress going on. This person could be anxious, depressed, or just in a very stressful situation. This person is stressed out. They're dealing with something difficult. Clean up your mess. It could be a, an old relationship, breaking up with someone, um, or an old situation. 
it could be a family matter it could be all number of things but this person is at the minute currently occupied with that is what it looks like to me but they will come around you know i feel like a year from now it will be very very different they will learn they will recalibrate they will move forwards but at the moment they're stressed out they're frightened they're trying to deal with a the situation they do need to move forwards they do need to move forwards clean up their mess and get themselves sorted i feel like they're in the process of doing that at the minute so do they miss you it feels to me like the feelings are there underneath the surface you know like deep down inside sorry but there's just too much going on for them to really even acknowledge that they miss you at the minute it's like their minds are taken up with dealing with their current situation so they just haven't even got the headspace to think about it at the minute so i hope this makes sense they do need to recover but they are doing they are doing so this year from now doesn't necessarily mean a year. It, for some people, it'll be a couple of months. For some people, it could be even a couple of years. You know, it just means longer term. They will start to miss you, start to act, acknowledge the connection more, want to, you know, want to reconnect more. But at the moment, they're trying to deal with their own situation. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or a private reading in the meantime. Have an amazing day. Hi, group four. How are you doing? So we've got a couple of clarifiers here. So does he miss me? So or you, I can't remember which one it is. The title. Oh, dear. So the fountain, six of coins, two of, cu uh, two of cups and the king of swords. We've got say no and be assertive. Okay. So say no is pretty clear, isn't it? So does he miss me? They're saying say no. No, he doesn't. Huh. This is why. A lot of you, I think, are going to be upset by the does he miss me? No, <laughs> because it's very blunt. It's very kind of harsh. But the thing is, this is what you need to see here. The reason he doesn't miss you is because I feel like this, what it's saying is this relationship is a soul connection with the two of cups. So you guys are connected on a deep soul level. What it looks like to me with be assertive and king of swords is this person is not allowing themselves to have a soul connection, to connect with their soul and to connect with this relationship. This person is up in their head, okay? This person is um, thinking they're up in their mind, they're being assertive, you know, they're wanting to challenge the situation, they don't want to, um, don't want to let it get to them, they've got a wall up, the king of swords is a, a strong, putting a wall up, being very cool, being very cold, being very, and not necessarily because they don't care, I mean, the soul connection here is saying that there is this deep soul connection with you guys. But this person isn't allowing themselves to miss you. It's very likely to be a man or a strong masculine energy. So it's somebody who it, it's somebody who is able to really kind of cut themselves off. Um, and the, the fountain card is interesting because here it's peculiar to the fountain tarot. And this card is about it's a very high vibe card it's about um isness beingness stillness so on the one hand this indicates a very high vibe connection between you guys which makes sense with the two of cups as one of the divine love cards but what i'm seeing here as well is the other meaning of the fountain that's come to be it's it, it often happens in my readings is that this card really represents nothing happening, like a static. And what I'm feeling here very strongly is that nothing's happening because this person needs to acknowledge this relationship on a higher or deeper level. This person needs to be prepared to connect on a soul level and they're not being prepared. They're not prepared to connect on that sort of a level. And so do they miss you? Well... On a soul level, yes, in their mind, on a daily basis, no, because they're not allowing themselves to be there. They're being very um, A-type 
mind, mind driven, assertive, clear, cool, detached, you know, cut off. The six of coins is a card of tranquility, of balance. This person is not wanting to lose their balance. They're not wanting to cause any issue. They don't want to go there into that messy area. They just want to stay focused and detached and, you know, stay on the, di you know, in the direction that they want to be in. You know, they don't want to get caught up in anything emotional or messy. So they're saying, no, I'm not missing this person. I don't miss this person. But it's all about having a front up, having a wall up. On a deep level, they do feel very connected to you. That said, on a soul level, we don't really miss people because the missing energy is a kind of an egoic energy. It's perfectly normal as a human being. So what I'm, but what I'm trying to say here is he doesn't it doesn't seem like he really misses you, but he because on a soul level, he just feels totally lovingly connected to you. And on a personality level, he's kind of put a wall up. But in terms of what you're looking for, does he feel connected? Is there something there? Yes. But it's on a soul level and he is not there yet or he's not there at the moment. He's not allowing himself to go there. So I hope this makes sense, guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you on the next reading or a private reading in the meantime. Have a wonderful day. See you soon, guys.